Hello Beam Learners, welcome to BeamModeler.com. Uh, today is an interesting day that it is the 16th. Actually, uh, we aimed to have a, a continuous challenge of 100 days first in the first phase. So we achieved 15 days actually. So we uh, added a videos 15 days. It could be a frequently asking question or it could be a user based asking question that we are making it in the rivet or the BIM related topics. We are going to make a continuous tutorial re related to this BIM and uh, Revit and other tools as well. So one of the tools that we are going to do is uh, Revit uh, and uh, Navis work, how they work together and full course of Navis work which, which is going to be launched in this month. So I have uh, started recording, so which is going to be launched in this month. So do subscribe and share it with your learning friends who is looking for Navis work. In this particular tutorial, we'll, let's jump into that. So where we're going to see option uh, coordination model. This is one of the questions from the user. Uh, how to use the coordination model or what is the purpose of the coordination model uh, when it comes to Revit? Why we have to use it? There are multiple reasons. The major reason is that um, the participant who is in the BIM uh, life cycle, it could be any vendors. So you, you consider that we are HVAC um, uh, designer and uh, the electrical designer or architect, they may not uh, give the actual uh, Revit file for us, so they wanted to keep the pro proprietary details with them. So sharing Revit files will lead to some of the uh, standards to be shared. So or otherwise, uh, if the uh, if they wanted to keep it uh, uh, in a, in a closed circle only in client basis, if it goes for the third party vendor, they don't want to share the details much detail. So that's the reason uh, one of the reason. And the second important thing is that when you work with Revit files. When your project getting bigger and bigger, the file size will be huge. But when you compare with the coordination model, which is a Navy Swift model, NWC or NWD file, which is light in weight, uh, which can be used in our uh, coordination purpose. We are not going to work, use it as uh, modeling anything on the air file. We are going to use it for the coordination purpose in our model. So let's dive into that, uh, how to use that tool shortly. So I'm going to access the local file. I'm not, I don't have any uh, a file which is in uh, cloud which is I'm using NWC file. I'm going to go with shared view uh, the file which is uh, uh, coordinate system maintaining the shared view. So do let me know if you have anything uh, uh, confuses you and I can turn on the section box and I can show you and uh, the file uh, which is linked into that and I can go back visibility and show all. I like to show only the section box and I can cut and see it how they appear. You can see that the MEP models are available within the model which is coordinated inside and we will have we can perform all the activities related to modeling and um, other activities even some projects we work with manufacturers and uh, uh, MEP consultant and architect uh, in a few projects we get only the projects for uh, builders work creation which could be uh, for mechanical and electrical uh, vendors uh, doing it for the architect and which uh, we will be taking care of those and we will be modeling those builders work alone and we will be giving them uh, details and drawings and uh, uh, all the details uh, fabrication details as well. So like this you will be able to coordinate in the same way its uh, model will be very light you can see that the file size will be uh, very <clears throat> very less as compared with the uh, Revit file you can see that 13.5 MB. So when you compare this actual model it's very huge and uh, we we will be difficult to manage the file size and uh, we may not need those things. So this is how you will be able to use the NWT file. I hope you know that uh, there is a uh, manage link option where you can control all the uh, linked model which is available here. If you want you can remove it from your uh, uh, from your project. And with that, I'm leaving to you. Do let me know if you have any frequently uh, coming up your, to your mind and do let me know and uh, in the command, uh, wish for the best. Uh, we continue to do the 100 days challenge of making 100 videos continuously and then move on to the phase two of that. Thank you so much. See you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.